Hello, my name's Kerry Duffy. I'm the European Sales Director for Cook Optics, and uh, I'm here with Finna Knows Best at NAB 2018. Uh, and um, I've been asked to uh, recount or give a little bit of explanation behind our Pancro Classic lenses. Um, our Pancro Classic lenses here, which we announced four new focal lengths prior to NAB, are the modern redesign of our original Cook Speed Pancros. These lenses were originally designed by Horace W. Lee in 1920 um, and have been or were manufactured uh, as Cook Speed uh, Pancros up until the mid 60s when we stopped. So they were very much used over that period, sort of golden age of Hollywood, one may say, uh, on many major movie productions. Um, and really defined, which is part of the citation that the Academy gave Cook in 2013 for defining the look of cinematography in the 20th century. But with the advent of digital, um, it became very apparent that digital is quite sterile, boring format. And this has led to many vintage lenses, as people call them or refer to them, being uh, rehoused or reintroduced onto digital acquisition. Um, and the Speed Pancro, really, since it was such a major lens for the movie industry from when it was designed in the 1920s through to the 1960s and beyond, um, then became, because so many of them were manufactured, became one of the first choices of rehousing to fit to digital cameras. And obviously they gave the uh, fantastic Cook look. The, the specific look of the Speed Pancros is that it's very sharp on center and then there's a quick fall off. Um, and this obviously adds character to, like I say, digital, which is a little bit flat and sterile. Um, the only problem with this is that the older lenses obviously have degraded over years. I mean, the newest one being 50 years old to start with. So how the glass degrades or where it's being kept or how it's being used and the mechanics inside it obviously can be from extremely suspect to very lucky if you get a good one. Um, and the other problem with this is that if you have a set of lenses, the quality of them may vary over a set, which most of us are not used to with modern optics. We're set to um, a constant T-stop or having constant mechanics and a constant look across the whole range, regardless of focal length. Um, so it was decided some years back to review um, the Cook Speed Pancros and remanufacture them in a modern mechanical design using our modern mechanics of our cam follower system for 270 degree roll or pitch in um, the focus. Uh, introduced linear iris blades. Um, the difference is that we introduced nine iris blades across the whole range to also add continuity to the look. So when you're set at five, six or four or whatever and you have a light behind you, that sort of buzz sorry bokeh as the iris blades come down would be constant across the range. The previous uh, S2, S3s vary in their number of iris blades relevant to focal length, so they didn't have a continuity always. Obviously, uh, making the front of the lenses 110 millimeter for matte boxes uh, and other accessories, and obviously MA uh, pitch uh, on the uh, mechanics for follow focus, PL mount. Um, and so we've taken the original drawings and we put them into a new uh, mechanical lens. However, now, this NAB, we've announced four new focal lengths which were not previously available because obviously series like our Mini S4s and our S4s um, have an extended range of focal lengths which most cinematographers now are used to into their sets. Uh, so this is one of them, it's a 135, never existed before. We've also introduced a 21 millimeter and a 27 millimeter and very exci I'm, I'm excited about and interested to see, um, which hasn't been made before, is a 65 millimeter macro. So in a Pancro Classic 65 millimeter Pancro. So you know, very close focus, that would be very interesting to see on that classic Pancro look. Um, obviously it can be used as a standard lens anyway, so sort of a, a mid-portrait or a wider portrait lens. Um, we also have at the show here on, on a Pancro Classic uh, a working prototype of the i3 metadata uh, which extends the data for distortion mapping. Um, so that's another thing, especially with these vintage lenses uh, or the redesign of these vintage lenses because the actual optical slug inside the lenses is the same as the, uh, as the original designs. 
uh, will hopefully help VFX and post in the future when they're um, coming to do shots that will be on a job or production where these lenses may be required. And that's really the story. And, and the reason we brought these back is because there are so many productions being shot today. I mean, for example, The Crown. Uh, I know they have two or three sets of lenses on that and they find it very difficult to match the sets when they're doing two or three uh, camera setups or, you know, close up and wide. Um, and these have been designed so to alleviate the cinematographer and post of those issues of color matching those vintage lenses, but still getting the vintage look. So um, Finna now knows best about why Cook reintroduced the classic Pancro look um, and they're extending it and uh, hopefully you'll get your hands on some of those lenses soon. Thank you very much.